Hello guys, what's going on? My name is Stone from Accelerate and today we're going to do a speed run of VLOOKUPS in Excel and we're starting right now. So guys, welcome to our sixth episode all about VLOOKUPS. We're going to do two quick examples. So first of all, this is the syntax that you're going to put into your formula bar that brings up the VLOOKUP. So first of all, VLOOKUP stands for Vertical Lookup. It's a function to look up data in a table organized vertically. And the first step is the value. So it's the value to look up for the first column of a table. And then the table is the table from which to retrieve the value from. And then the column index is the column in the table from which to retrieve a value. And the last step of a VLOOKUP is the range lookup. So are we looking for an approximate match? So then we're going to say true. Or are we looking for an exact match? And that's false. So I usually go with the false method to get the, that exact match. So without further ado, let's go straight into my desktop here. So I'm in my desktop and I'm going to create our new VLOOKUP file. So Excel file and we're going to call it VLOOKUP. And whilst it's opening, I just want to mention to you guys at the time of this recording, we had 82 subscribers. Please subscribe if you can get to 90. I'm going to leave this file that we're going to build for you to download as well. So quick and easy, we're going to do a little example here. So let's say I'm a teacher and I want to track some uh, test scores of my students. So let's go with student name here. And then we go with tracking the test. So this will be test one. You can click on E1 and you can drag up until G to show test three. And let's work out a nice average as well. All right, so you can just highlight everything, double click on the column there to space it out nicely. So let's say first student, myself, Stone. Uh, let's go with uh, Chantal. And let's go with one more, uh, Zayden. All right, so let's say I've done not too bad on my test. I've got 70, 60, and 50. So that will give an average of 50. So you can work it out. You can say equals average in brackets. You highlight the three test scores and you say enter. So that gives us average of 60. All right, awesome. And then let's go, Chantal did a little bit better. Let's do a spot check. So it should give us an average of 80. We can drag that one down. And then Zayden got 75, 50, and let's go with 80. And that will also give us a nice, let's go with a nice round number, 85. Okay, so you can give it a nice little border, and you can also just to make it look, look nice as well, give it some color. And now we're gonna build our VLOOKUP now on the left hand side here. So I'm just gonna highlight from D1 to H1, Control C. I'm going to go to A1 and then I'm going to paste and transpose. I'm going to click on the transpose option. So that will just copy vertically and paste horizontally. All right. So I'm just going to give borders here as well. Now our VLOOKUPS is going to sit here. Test 1, 2, 3 and average. So let's go with equals VLOOKUP. So now it's asking for a lookup value. What are we looking for? So I'm going to go with student name in B1. This is what we're going to look up for. I'm going to go with comma. It's asked for the table array. So that's a table where the data sits, where they need to retrieve it from. So that's from D2 to H5. Then comma is going to ask for the column index number. So we're looking for test one. It's sitting in the second column of our table. If you look at the highlight red here, it sits D is our first column where data is. So our second column is what we're looking for. And that's in E. And that's the first column, second column. So we're going to say two because it's our data for test one sits in our second column. Comma, range lookup, we're looking for an exact match. So we just say false. And we're going to hit enter. So now it shows this in A because there's no data in B1 yet. But if you don't want this BA, uh, or NA, sorry, you can just highlight and then just in front of the equal sign, you can say if error, open the bracket, and here at the end, you just say comma zero, and you say close the bracket. And if you hit enter, 
it will change the NA to a zero. So that's a quite nice nifty trick as well. What we're also going to do is we're going to make absolute values. So if you drag this formula down, it's going to drag all these references down as well. So in B1, just in front of the B, you're going to hit Shift and 4. So you have to put in a do dollar sign and in, in front of the one as well, dollar sign. This locks it and makes it an absolute value. So if you drag the formula down, it won't drag the reference down as well. And we're going to do the same with the table array. So we're going to go in front of the D, dollar sign, in front of the two, dollar sign, in front of the H, dollar sign, and in front of the four, dollar sign. And you're going to hit enter. So now if you drag this down, there we go. It shows zero currently. But now remember, test two sits in our third column in our table array. So we're just going to change this two to a three. Hit enter. Test 3 sits in our fourth column. 1, 2, 3, 4. So we're going to change the 2 to a 4. And then our last average sits in our fifth column. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we're going to highlight B5 and we're going to change the 2 to a 5. All right. Perfect. And now a nice nifty trick. I'm going to teach you a little bit of data validation as well. So in B1, you click on B1. You click on the data tab. And you click on this little button that says data validation left click on it and you're going to change this any value drop down list to a list and from source you're going to choose this little up button and now we, you just choose the source so you highlight from stone to zayden and you hit enter and you say okay so what happens now is, is this is quite nice so it creates this little drop down list you can choose from and this eliminates any spelling mistakes that you may make. And if you choose stone now, lo and behold, it chooses test 70. There we go, test 170, test 260, 50, and our average was 60. We do the same with Chantel, pulls it nice through, and with Zayden as well. So that's a perfect, nice example of a VLOOKUP working quite efficiently as well and quite quick so if you had hundreds of students here you just click on the name you can even search it you can say uh, stone hit enter and it will it will do its thing it's quite magical as well so let's say we're a shop owner i'm just going to quickly create a new sheet as well so in sheet two i'm just going to go back to sheet one highlight everything copy go to sheet two and paste so let's say we're a shop owner and we're tracking our stock. So instead of student name, we're going to say stock. And also now it's stock item. So we're going to go with S001 and we're going to drag it down here. So you will notice it changed to zero as well because it picks up that validation. And if we're tracking stock, we've got an opening balance opening balance I'm just going to double click that we have purchased double click on that if we've got sold and we've got a closing balance right so let's just do this formula so our closing balance equals our opening balance plus what we've purchased throughout the month less what we've sold gives us our closing balance so let's double click that through and that's nice so if you if you had 80 opening balance plus 180 that gives you 160 less what we sold and that leaves us over 80 so it works perfectly just want to change this range as well we're going to go with a1 you can say equals d1 so it should be stock test one a2 should be e1 opening balance a3 should be purchased a4 equals sold and A5 equals closing balance, just to make it nice. And now if you click on the B1, you've got a drop down. Remember, we put in the data validation, so it's not necessary to type it in. You can say S1, and lo and behold, the VLOOKUP works perfectly. Oh, that's awesome. This is quite nice stuff. So guys, that was two quick, uh, two quick examples of a VLOOKUP. And uh, it was a nice speed run as well. As I mentioned, I've got 82 subscribers at the time of this recording. If we can get to 90, I'm going to leave this and other few goodies with you as well in the descriptions below. Thank you again for tuning in. And as always, cheers.